Hello, my beautiful ones. This is Dr. V. Welcome to a new Pick a Card reading where we're going to be taking a very deep look at your person, whether it's your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved. What are their thoughts about you today, right now? So we're going to take a look at what they're thinking and feeling, what they would like to say to you specifically. And then we're also going to take a look at outcomes. So what may happen? happen next in this connection or what actions do they wish to take in the future so if you're new to this channel I am so happy that you are here make sure that you do hit that subscribe button turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future readings and I highly encourage you to also participate in this amazing live tarot community everybody is here supporting one another on this journey all right so we're gonna dive right in here i have three beautiful options here for you to choose from um, and today's theme is chakras so we have pile number one number two and number three if you would like to take a moment to close your eyes, take a deep breath, meditate, see what you feel most intuitively guided to, make sure you are gentle with yourself. You can pick one, two, three, or you can pick all of them and just take the messages that resonate for your situation and leave the rest. Now, if you'd like to have specific deep dive guidance into what is going on in your unique situation, you can have a personal reading with me and the link to that is in the box below as well as the link to all of these oracle decks that I've created for you to gain even more clarity on this journey so everything is always in the box below and if you want more information you can also always go to livetarot.com so let's take a look at the three chakras we have here so for our group number one we have the solar plexus chakra I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. For group number two, we have the sacral chakra. I feel comfortable in my own body and I'm sensitive to other people's feelings. And for our third group, we have the root chakra. I have everything I need to survive and grow on the physical plane. All right, so go ahead and make your selection and we'll start with group number one, solar plexus chakra. All right, my beautiful group one who chose the solar plexus chakra. Here is your reading. We're going to start with your tarot and then we'll go deeper into your oracle. So let's take a look. Wow, Ace of Cups, beautiful beginning. Great first card to get here. Love it. The Chariot. Wow, beautiful. The Star. Oh, wow, six of cups. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so wow, your person, they are really coming through here in a very, very gentle, soft, emotional, very hopeful energy. You know, to me, it's like this is the energy of somebody who is very much, very much invested in moving your relationship, your connection forward. And that's a beautiful thing. I feel like your person right now, they're, they're going through a time period, but I feel that it is definitely transitioning. It is coming to an end. Like they're coming, they're, they're going through a time period right now in their life where they've been feeling a bit static. Um, they've been feeling a little bit stagnant in their energy. Um, they've been feeling a little bit impatient. Uh, they very much want to move forward. Um, in their relationship with you, as well as they want to drive their life forward in other ways as well. I, I'm getting a very strong energy here that they want you to be proud of them. 
because I do feel that there's been a bit of a struggle that they've been going through with this chariot's energy. Um, I feel like they've been literally trying to hustle and in a good way, as in because things may have come to some sort of a standstill in their life or, you know, it's been like a little bit of a pausing energy in their life. But it's a natural flow, right? Because life is always um, a cycle of ebbs and flows. So I do feel that your person has been a little bit discouraged. They've been going through a little bit of discouragement lately where they feel that certain things that they ha had hoped were going to work out in their life. I'm also feeling when it comes to like finances and career and certain things that they kind of just wanted to have in place. They were looking for some sort of satisfaction from those things. And I feel like that that would have also helped them to move this relationship forward because I'm also getting that they very much want to make an offer here an offer of something more stable of something more committed with you but they were also looking for certain things in their material world to kind of fall into place so that they could be on better footing so they were trying very hard to take a little bit more control of their circumstances of their life um, they were trying to make better decisions. They were trying to literally be this charioteer in their life, as in they really wanted to get out of this feeling of being a little bit out of control. Because I feel like sometimes your person can be a little bit fatalistic. You know, they don't want to be, but there's a little bit of like this, you know, pessimism. Like, you know, when things don't go right, they do tend to feel a little dark, you know, like they do kind of get into a darker energy of either dissatisfaction or a bit of discouragement when things don't really fall into the place that they want that this person wants them to. But the good aspect of this, though, is that they really do always try their best to bring things back online, as in if things go out of control, they want to bring things back to center. So that's why this chariot's energy is very powerful for them because they really are very much looking to move forward with you. Um, there's a lot of hopeful energy that they have here, which is again, very beautiful. It's very flowy. It's very loving. It's very natural. Like they see in you a fresh new start, a new beginning. And, and emotionally, it's very satisfying to them. Okay. Whatever, um, the way in which you speak to them, the way in which you communicate to them, I feel is very new for them with this ace of cups. I feel like there, there's a kind of like a language of love that they have always wanted to hear from the person that they love, right? Or the person that they're in a connection with. And I feel like they, they, they've felt like nobody has ever fully gotten them, like spoken that language, you know, like spoken to them in a way that truly connects to their heart. And I feel like you do. And that's what's very special about you. That's what they're thinking about right now. They're thinking about how special you are because you literally speak their language of love. Like you speak to them, you communicate with them, you connect with them in a way that they find incredibly satisfying. It's juicy, you know? It's so juicy. It's so delicious. It's so exciting. It's so deeply emotionally satisfying to them that they don't want to ever let it go. Okay. And so that's why they very much are invested with this chariot's energy in pushing that forward, like getting more of it. They want more and more of that feeling. Um, it's something that they've become very hooked upon. So you may find that your person loves to communicate with you. They love getting messages from you. They love talking to you. If they don't hear from you, um, you know, like enough, like they start to really miss that communication. They want to hear more from you. Um, I also feel with this beautiful stars energy that they, um, again, very hopeful energy. Like they have some really big hopes and dreams that are associated with this connection. Um, 
they are starting to kind of, you know, build a lot of dreams in their mind. Um, there's something about you that is very inspiring to them. You have definitely been a very bright, shining star in their life because remember I said they do tend to sometimes be a little bit darker like you know when they get discouraged when they get down i feel like for some of you this is not for everybody but for some of you your person has a little bit of depression sometimes you know like they can get a little bit dark they can get a little bit down um i'm not saying that it's a big thing but it it's definitely a side to them and i'm sure you have already seen this side to them and that's why we're getting this like you know this energy of like sometimes they're in that night sky you know they're in that kind of darker energy and you are an inspiration you are a shining star to them in that energy you bring them a lot of hope you represent potential you represent what life could be when life works let me say this again because it's really important you represent to your person what life can be the beauty of what life can be when it all works and that's why we get this also this beautiful um, figure here on this card I feel like they are very sensually attracted to you so like they find so much beauty in you inside and out like they're very attracted to your body as in they love the beauty of your body but they also love the beauty of your mind your heart your spirit and again your communication i think that's one of the greatest things that they love about you the way you communicate through every aspect of your being is what turns this person on a lot in a good way as in like they find you to be so irresistibly sexy both physically emotionally spiritually mentally so it's like the way that you conduct yourself the way you express yourself through your words through your body language is just igniting that passion in this person and with the six of cups energy it's like that's you know they see you as their soulmate their real love their true love the the love that they have been waiting for and one of the beautiful things about this card also is that i feel like they very much want to build memories with you they want to build solid beautiful memories with you that the both of you cherish okay that's something that is important to them it's part of the foundation that they wish to lay with you okay so let's go deeper deeper here what else are they thinking about you right now today ah uh, this is so lovely this is beautiful energy look at this so do you see how to me the energies that have been coming through in this entire reading are so incredibly positive um they're very healthy this is somebody who you know even if they haven't had the healthiest of experiences in the past in their life even if they are coming off of you know wounds or traumas i feel like there's something about this connection that is extremely healthy to them and that's another reason why they love you so much they see you as somebody who has brought a very genuine beautiful healthy love into their life and that is why their heart is singing and celebrating look at this like i think this is what they were looking for and for many of you i do feel your person has through experiencing unhealthy relationships in the past i feel like they have learned to value recognize and want to invite healthy relationships into their life and and they see that in you and that's why see let's go and have fun they want to celebrate this with you look look how beautiful they are look at the joy that you bring out in them look at this figure and how joyful she is I feel like they feel a tremendous amount of relief and joy being around you because you are helping them. You have inspired them to really come back to love, come back to real love. And the love I feel that they are coming back to is twofold. 
it's at two very deep levels. One is the level that, of love that they feel for you. And the other is the level of love that you are inspiring them to feel for themselves. Okay, so they are almost like regaining a lot of lost self-esteem and self-respect that they may have lost along the way in their past travels like you know and I feel like again with this chariots energy I do feel that your person has definitely traveled through much like they've had a lot of experiences um, they've been on a journey they've been on a journey of self-discovery a journey of finding love of a journey of belonging wanting to feel like they belong somewhere um, and they feel that belonging with you and that's another reason why they feel like you have brought out the best in them look at this beautiful virtue card same thing here I feel like you have brought out that virtue within them of you know really wanting to revel in you know loving themselves loving you respecting themselves respecting you and building a solid relationship built on mutual love mutual respect mutual understanding and forgiveness too you know forgiveness of the past forgiveness of you know life's disappointments and a willingness to open up to fresh new possibilities and that is why they are seeing a, such a beautiful path here with you Okay, I love this. They are seeing this path here with you as something that is absolutely possible. You they want to be look and look at this opening up a portal here too. And this portal is that portal to that new beginning, that ace of cups that they are looking for that they are wanting with you. And it's so beautiful because they see that path opening up. They see a very clear path for the two of you to go down, you know, um, very healthy. Them wanting this to be extremely, extremely healthy. So let's take a look at some specific messages and just take these as they resonate. Right. And, you know, if they fit, they fit. If they don't, that's OK. All right. Being apart from you has changed my life. I'm not in a good place right now. I will call you soon. Okay, so this is for some of you who may be in some form of struggle or separation at this time. Um, I feel like if that is the case, there is definitely a reconciliation that is coming here for you because, again, I feel like this is what your person is thinking. They are seeing the value. They are coming forth into a new understanding, right? So I feel like this works for whether you are together or whether you are struggling. Either way, I feel like your person is definitely coming into a new kind of understanding, a new kind of awakening towards wanting something healthy and then being committed to building that up. I miss you no matter what it looks like on the outside. I've become good at hiding my true feelings. Okay, so I feel like some of these messages are definitely for some of you who are in some form of struggle or separation. And I feel like for some of you that may have come because of this chariot's energy, as in it may be because your person has definitely come off of some struggles in life. Um, they may have come off of some disappointments. Like I said, with that star's energy, they do have a bit of a darkness or depression in them. And so some of you, your person may kind of be in that dark, depressive mode right now, right? But they are definitely wanting to come out of it. So that's the main message here. It's too scary to admit that I'm in love with you. I've never felt love this deeply before. Do you feel the same way? So see, this is the thing. <laughs> this is why we're getting all of this energy. There's a lot of love, a lot of deep, deep love here. So... For some of you, your person is coming into readiness, preparedness, right? They're ready to make this into a healthy love. Um, they're getting over their fear. They're getting over their darkness. They're getting over any past wounds and wanting to come forward. So let's see, what are they going to do in terms of coming forward? Wow. Okay. So, yeah, so they are still dealing with their beliefs, that is for sure, but their beliefs are very much 
opening up and this is really lovely and I feel like for those of you again who have been in some sort of struggle or separation whatever solitude your person has been going through it's actually going to work really well for you I believe that they needed that time to come into this understanding right here now while they were apart I feel that your person has also been working on some important issues here regarding the material world um, and I feel like that also has to do with the chariots energy that we saw from the beginning right some of the things that they were wanting to set into place into motion when it comes to their life when it comes to money wanting to uh, have this in place to make you a solid offer as well something where you know this is a future that can that they feel that you can grow into together from a very solid base, a solid foundation in the material world. So I do believe that your person, whether again, separation or not separation, either way, there is a fresh new energy that is coming through here that is healthy, that is committed, that is inspired, that has been working on changing any of these limiting beliefs, you know, working on some of those darker energies, that solitude it has really helped them. It's brought them to so much enlightenment that you see coming through here. So whatever that ha that energy has been, it's actually been quite, quite useful to your person. This is going to be helping both of you very much so in the long term. So let me know what you thought of your reading in the comment box below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I've created for you, all of the links are in the box below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I'll see you all on the next video. My beautiful group two who chose the Sacral Chakra here is your reading. We're going to start with your tarot and then we'll get into your oracle card. So let's take a look. Wow, judgment. The Queen of Swords. The Page of Coins. and the world wow very very interesting energies coming through here so um i feel first of all i feel that for many of you there has been a struggle or separation in this connection with this world card and what's interesting though is that your person they are very much right now regretting whatever this separation or struggle has been and what's interesting here is look at how we have the the judgment and the world on either side flanking the queen of swords and the page of coins so i feel like there is a um a definite kind of framing going on within your person's mind of the way in which they are seeing, literally seeing this connection and understanding um, who you are. I feel like there is a lot of thoughts whirling around in your person's head of trying to understand you better. I feel like they feel that they haven't fully understood you until things went wrong or things uh, like didn't work out properly between the two of you and I do feel that they feel that it was a some sort of a communication issue they felt that um, need, that both of you were not on the same page when it came to communicating your your thoughts and feelings um, they're also feeling that they're feeling a very deep remorse and regret and sadness over the fact that they feel that they themselves for sure and you too may have been a bit too much in your head. So whatever had happened, whatever has happened here to bring you guys into either disagreement or struggle or, you know, some sort of a disconnect it's because there was more mind energy going through this connection than heart space energy as in you know somebody here was not opening up their heart properly as in they weren't fully opening up to this connection 
Um, it could be you, it could be them, it could be both of you, it could both be mirroring each other. But I do feel that your person very much thinks that there were a lot of walls that were built up here between the two of you. Um, there, were, there was a lot of defensiveness. Um, people not wanting to be vulnerable. And I feel that it has to do with past wounds, okay? There's a lot of past wounds that both of you were bringing into this connection. Um, and judgment, it's interesting because I feel like even though both of you were bringing in a lot of childhood wounds, maybe perhaps some bad experiences, past heartbreaks into this connection, it's almost like you were keeping a vigilant eye, you know, either you on them or them on you or both of like, oh, you know, is this person going to act like the la like, you know, other people who broke my heart? What if this person acts like them? Or what if, you know, they do the same thing? What if I get my heart broken again? There was a lot of nervous tension here, a lot of nervous energy of, um, you know, lack of trust, a lack of faith. And I, and what's really sad here is that I feel like it was very misguided in the sense that, you know, your person didn't want you to think that they mistrust you. But I think that's what ultimately happened. Either, you know, they behaved in a way that made you think that they don't trust you. When in fact, what they truly didn't trust was their own past. So it was more coming from memory, you know, bad memories. Um, you know, it's kind of like guilt by association where it's like other people have screwed them over. Other people have stabbed them in the back. And now they were expecting that maybe you would do the same because it's kind of like a repetitive pattern, you know, and it's also that very deep seated fear that, you know, even though they know that the, you at a very deep level, they know that you love them. They know that they feel a very powerful connection to you. Um, they know that you represent a, a, a new beginning. Like you gave them the inspiration to even believe that it was possible to have a second chance in life and, and in love. You know, you, you made them want a second chance. And I feel like before they met you, they were kind of indifferent to that. You know, they, they were kind of a little bit jaded. Um, they were definitely not very trusting of anybody or anything. Um, they were almost like, you know, prove me wrong. Like, you know, like love sucks. Okay. Love sucks. I always get screwed over. You prove me wrong. Like they had that kind of energy and you did. I feel like to a certain extent when you fell in love, they, you did prove them wrong, but somewhere along the line, people still had to deal with those wounds. And, in, and I do feel that somewhere along the line, as you may have triggered one another, um, you guys gotten into your heads, you know, it was easier. It felt safer to them, especially to just kind of be in their head and close up their heart. And that was the problem. That is the current problem of what's going on here. And, and that is why I feel that there is this sense of, um, deep, deep sorrow over, um, some sort of a missed opportunity, right? Like they feel that they have missed out on the opportunity of a lifetime. They missed out on a kind of love that they never thought that they could ever have. Um, but they kind of messed it up by not fully believing in it. You know, it's like they wanted to believe in it, but they didn't fully believe in it. And that's the problem. That's the problem. And they weren't able to really stay grounded. You know, they got in their head with this page of pentacles energy. Like they needed to stay grounded. They needed to communicate with their feet on the ground solidly and their mind in a very, very connected, practical way instead of in their head space, like, you know, constantly just, you know, building up problems. This could go wrong. That could go wrong. This isn't right. That's not right. And, and so what happened is that their communication with you also became too immature. Like when you're so much in your head space here, it's all coming from the mind and you're not opening up your heart 
the things that you say can come off immature. They can come off as, you know, not really grounded in your real emotions. So I do feel that they very much want to fix that. Like they want to communicate with you better. They feel that they let you down in the way they communicated with you. Um, it's also one of their great regrets. And now I feel like with this world card, they are shit scared of losing you completely to the world. Like I me, mean, they feel like if you, if they lose you completely, you are not going to have a hard time finding somebody else. Like you have so much to offer. You, you are so, such a badass. Like I feel like they, they very much admire you. They feel that this has been some sort of a missed opportunity and that they feel like if they were to lose you forever to the world, that it's not going to be long before somebody else snaps you up and sees how amazing and valuable you are. And they don't want that. They don't want to lose you to the world. So let's go deeper here. What else? What else are they thinking about you? Yeah, see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because, see, they know. See, this is the thing. They know that if there's been some sort of a falling out here, some sort of a blow up, I'm wondering if there has been. Um, for some of you, I'm feeling that there may have been a... a, a a tower moment, uh, a big argument or a big disagreement or something that came to light that just caused a lot of problems between the two of you. And again, I feel like they are now seeing that they weren't able to see clearly or think clearly about whatever this was. So their, their sense of discernment, you know, their, their, literally trying to figure out what's real and what was fake like what was coming up for them that was fear-based because I feel like a lot of the things that they were thinking feeling and maybe saying before things got you know and as things got rough between the two of you I feel like they were fear-based the things that they were expressing to you or saying to you especially if they were very hurtful they came from fear Fear of losing you, fear of losing the relationship, fear of not living up to what you deserve, fear of not being able to give you the love that you deserve, fear of losing you completely to the world over there. So see, you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. So now they're really starting to see the difference between what was truth and what was just all like, you know, fear based, you know, negative fantasies that they had kind of just been building up in their mind. And so what they're trying to do now, and this is a good thing, is to come out of those extremes of thought, because I do feel that th this is very much about the extremes of thought that your person has kind of been imprisoning themselves in. I feel like they're going through a lot of this hyper thinking, um, going around in circles, um, you know, and uh, analyzing, paralyzing, analyzing, paralyzing, and they need to come out of that state. And that is what they're working on right now. There's a lot of extremes, extreme states of mind that they have been running through, processing, thinking, 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 and it's time to stop. It's time to let go of some, sometimes, you know, the, the wrong things that your mind is showing you, all the negative stuff, and to start opening up their heart and their intuition instead. And I feel like as you start opening this up, you are now opening up your heart. And now they are starting to let go of the negativity of the mind and start looking, trusting their gut instinct. What is that telling them about this relationship, about their feelings for you, how much they love you, how much they care, how much they are afraid of losing you? So that's opening up big time for them as well. Then that is coming with this discernment, right? Like the more you're able to discern right from wrong, truth from um, illusion, the more it opens up your intuitive energy, the more it opens up your intuitive power. So they really do believe that you are worth waiting for, as in they, they want this relationship, this connection to come back around. Um, they want to win you back. They feel that if you're, even if you're not ready yet 
to forgive them that you are definitely worth waiting for. So let's take a look at some specific messages. What would they say to you? What do they want to say to you? And just take these as they resonate. See, wherever you are is home to me. I feel safe and content with you and never want to let you go. Yeah, very much, very much in tune with the energies that are coming through. No matter what ups and downs we have, it's always been you. You are my one true love. Beautiful. Mm. They don't want to lose you. They just do not want to lose you. I'm secretly longing for you but can't express it. I'm trying to heal my inner child so I don't hurt you again. Yeah? Yeah? Very much, very much in alignment. So like I said before, from the beginning of this reading, there was a lot of longing, a lot of wanting this to work out, um, a lot of remorse for whatever extremes of behavior or any kind of, you know, falling out or separation that has gone on. Um, a lot of, you know, wanting a second chance with that judgment card and a lot of that fear of, you know, I, I, I don't want to lose you. You know, you are worth waiting for. You are my home. Yes, we've had ups and downs, but it doesn't change the fact that you're my one true love. So this is good because I do feel a shift um, in them coming out of that mind space and coming into that heart space. So let's take a look at their next actions. What is it that they wish to do now? Ooh. <laughs> we had two fall out here. I'm going to have to pick that up from the ground. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, see? So we're getting the card of movement, absolutely movement, moving forward. They want to move forward. They want to come back. Um, if you feel, and I feel this travel is also very, you know, very much symbolic and literal. So, you know, for those of you who might be in different geographical locations, they want to travel to you, to see you, to romance you. Isn't this beautiful? They want to bring back the romance to this. For those of you who this is more like a, you know, symbolic of the fact that they wish to move back to you, as in come forward, come to you, you know, come back into this relationship and move this relationship forward. It's definitely about meeting you, moving, um, um, bringing a stagnant situation into change, okay? And this beautiful summer card, for those of you who do live in the Western Hemisphere, this is, to me, you can see this as a time marker, as in this is like now, they want to do this now. You are going to hear from them, they are going to tell you, um, this is gonna come back around fast. And if not, if you're not um, in this, if it is not summer, if it is not a time marker for you, this is like also the sun's card in tarot. So this is a very happy card, like the way that they see you. They, they want a positive outcome. They want the sh sun to shine back on this relationship, on this connection. So beautiful. Let me know what you thought of this reading in the comment box below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I've created for you, all of the links are in the box below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you all on the next video. My beautiful group three who chose Root Chakra, here is your reading. We're gonna start with your tarot and then we'll get into your Oracle cards. Wow, beautiful two of cups. <laughs> Just lovely. Hanging man.
the four of wands. Wow. And the two of swords. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting, guys. Look at this. We have the two twos here. The two of swords and the two of cups flanking this hang hanged man and this four of wands. Wow. All right. So first of all, I have to say that your person right now, they are very much seeking answers to what's going on in this connection. Okay. So I feel like there's some things that are happening here in this energy that have put your person into a bit of a pausing mode. And, you know, for some of you, I feel like you may have been planning something big together. Either you were planning a wedding or you were planning to move in together or you were planning to move closer to one another. Either like I, there's some sort of a geographic distance, but you knew that you really want to um, grow this relationship. You knew that you want to uh, put yourself in a position where you can move the relationship forward. And so I feel like there were some plans that were being made here that came to some sort of a halt or like a, um, the, the plans did not go through. That's the energy that I'm getting here. The plans did not go through. And I feel that there's a great deal of um, pain and disappointment around this, um, perhaps from both sides here, because something has happened here that has derailed those plans, okay? So um, either you were making concrete plans or you were both considering something, okay? You were considering some sort of a really next big step in this connection. You were considering both of you very much um, making a decision towards something big, okay, with this Two of Swords. You knew that a decision had to be made. I'm also feeling for some of you that it had come to a point where it was time, um, where you have almost felt like um, either it is time to move forward and to really commit to this relationship and do something big to show our commitment, whether that's moving closer to one another, me moving in with each other, or even a proposal with an engagement. I feel like you had come to a point in this connection where it was time and your person was definitely feeling that, um, that energy, you know, um, and the thing is, I feel like they very much wanted to make this commitment. But something happened here. Either there was a reversal. Um, I feel like for some of you, I feel like they got scared or something happened that made them question whether this was something they really wanted. But I feel like whatever that questioning is, is not... It's not, what's the right way of saying this? Like, it's not fully valid, okay? So your person, they may have stopped this forward movement, okay? So they may have um, gone back on, or you both may have. It could have been even mutual here where you both may have discussed this and something happened that made you kind of halt your plans. And I feel like it may, for many of you, it may have been sudden where you're just like one day you were already considering you know, all kinds of ways to move forward. And then the next day, it just kind of like one of you or both of you said, no, you know what? I need to stop this because I'm not sure if this is what I really want. And here's the thing. Your person, they very much feel deeply connected to you either way. Even if right now you guys had to stop those plans, even if something happened where there was a disagreement or a falling out and someone chose to step back here, the feelings are still there. Okay, the love that this person has for you, the connection that they feel for you is still there. So right now they're thinking very much about this, the way your these hands are being held, right? Like they want to hold you again. They want to hold your hand again. They want to somehow fix this. Um, there's an energy here of wanting to come back together with that, you know, 
that reunion. Um, but there's something here that they feel like they need to know before that can happen. So with this hanged man's energy, I feel like your person is looking for answers. And it makes me wonder, did something happen here? Did did for some of you, did you were you the one who pulled away? Because I feel like for some of you, you may have been the one who pulled away. Um, for some of you, they have pulled away. But there's definitely somewhere here where answers are being sought, where there is a very deep questioning going on. Um, they're looking for uh, enlightenment. They're looking for the right path. Your person, they very much still want this with you, this four of wands. They very much still want to commit to you. They still very much want to build something with you, whatever that looked like for the two of you. But I feel like they're looking for answers first. They're looking for at some sort of an explanation as to why things have gone wrong at least for now but i do feel that this is a temporary energy that they are trying to work through um that is why if you feel that right now they're um in more of a static mode where this connection may be kind of more in a um let's wait and watch or let's wait and see we need a break kind of mode there's been um maybe a lot less communication at this time it's because of this hangman's energy but there's definitely answers that are being sought here they are thinking this through and what i like about the two of swords is that I feel like they are taking this time to think it through correctly because they want to make the right decision about you and about this connection. Whatever decision they make, whatever decision you make together, your person wants it to lead to this celebration because this Four of Wands really is a celebration of your love. It's a celebration of your commitment. It's a celebration of how you see your commitment. What does that manifest like for you as a couple, individually and uniquely just to you? You, right so I feel like they are right now wanting this to work and they're wanting to make it work in the right way because I'm also getting the energy that they don't want whatever has happened here to um, delay this connection or to delay the moving forward of this connection they don't want it to happen again okay so there's something here that is hidden Okay, it's coming through here again. There's something here with that hangman's energy. There's some sort of answers or truth or knowledge that your person is looking to find that they don't have quite yet. So this makes me wonder, is there something that has happened in this connection that has made either one of you wonder about something else going on? Okay, um, for some of you, and this is for very few of you, this is not for everybody, I feel like, is there some sort of a third party situation here? Or is there some sort of a fear or insecurity that either you or your person has about a third party that was involved in this before? or is still kind of lurking around, right? It could be kind of a ghost from the past. Like, um, it doesn't have to be even somebody that is actively there. This, this third party can just be um, some sort of a bad memory or a bad energy that you or your person are still haunted by or holding on to. For some of you, it's some sort of like an ex-spouse or an ex partner who still has some hold over you or your person either you have children together and you still have to deal with that person or there's some sort of a financial contract that is still in place um, some sort of financial responsibility or something that is still holding you back from making this four of wands commitment so there's something here that's going on and for some of you i feel like you know exactly what it is for others of you i feel like it's a bit of a mystery like you're not quite sure what is it so you're looking to find out but i feel essentially though regardless of what the specific situation is i feel like your person um and you are really looking for loyalty here. As in, if there is a third party that 
is somehow meddling, involved, trying to influence the situation, or you, you suspect or your person suspects that there's somebody still lurking around the situation, um, then, you know, this is a really important thing that I feel that you or your person are looking for the truth about, you know, who is actually loyal to whom here. Um, I feel like both of you are looking for the answer to that. And that's what's coming through again in that hangman's energy. It's like, look, we can't celebrate this union. We can't celebrate this next commitment that we want to make to one another um, without loyalty to this cause. Okay, we have to be 100% loyal to one another. So even if either of us have exes, um, that we are still somehow financially or emotionally, you know, attached to in some way due to kids or other situations. I feel like both of you need to show to what demonstrate to one another that even if you have to deal with other people, the loyalty that you have in your heart is first and foremost to one another and to this relationship, this relationship, this partnership comes first. Everything else is secondary to that. And that is why I feel that um, your person and you, and I feel like both of you are kind of in this boat together, are realizing that it's time to embrace whatever that truth is. There is a truth here that needs to come out. Illusion, embrace the truth. Okay, there's something here that somebody is has been hiding or has been trying to um, kind of put a positive spin on. You know how sometimes like we all may have like difficult dis situations or difficult things in our life that we're trying to kind of put a positive spin on. Like we don't want to admit that it is as bad as it really is. We don't want to show our weakness or we don't want to um, show or admit that things are worse than they actually are. So we kind of try to put a veil over it. I feel like that's not going to work. You know, and your person is also coming to that realization because I feel like there are certain things that they have been, you know, putting some sort of a veil on, sugarcoating. Um, there may be some things that they're not fully telling you about when it comes to their responsibilities or it comes to certain aspects of their life that they are embarrassed about or they feel that you will not like. Okay, so there's something here that you also need to realize about this person. It doesn't have to be anything terrible or deal breaking, but there may be something that they are embarrassed about or some sort of obligation that they have that they don't want you to know because they're afraid that it will again get in the way of this four of wands energy. Like they're afraid that you will not um, feel comfortable with it. You know, that you may feel insecure about it, that you may feel that it is destabilizing the relationship. And I feel like your person may feel that if you knew about whatever that is, that you may see it as them not being loyal to you and they don't want you to think or feel that way. And so that's why I feel like we're also getting this, that this card that either way, whatever that is, you must believe that you deserve love, okay? That you deserve this person's um, undivided loyalty, their undivided attention. Because uh, again, if you guys want to have this four of wands, then that has to be in place, right? You can't have divided loyalties. You can't have divided attention. You can't have your love divided and, you know, you know, hacked into pieces and like, you know, put everywhere. No, your relationship has to be the center point. It has to be the center of the universe for both of you around which then you can um, support one another in whatever other aspects of your life or other responsibilities that you may have, right? So know that you deserve your person's 100% loyalty and commitment and you don't have to settle for less than that. So what would they say to you? What are their specific messages to you? All right, so see, you're always in my heart. Even though I'm not in touch, I observe you from a distance, okay? So this is why I'm saying I feel like Definitely for some of you who are in some form of struggle or situ uh, separation with that hangman's energy, they are definitely still watching you. They are definitely still in love with you. 
Um, they may be dealing with whatever is that kind of mystery situation or some other situation that they're not proud of. That might be one of the reasons why they've stepped away from this. I've made my bed and now I have to lie in it until I can admit my mistakes to myself and you. So again, I feel like for some of you, there have been some sort of mistakes that are being made here or something that has happened here that has brought this relationship to a particular crossroads where some decisions are going to have to be made and somebody is going to have to come clean about you know, what is it, you know, what is it that they may be hiding or, you know, like, what is it that you need to realize about this person? Please give me a second chance. I still love you and want to start over. I want to share my life with you. Okay, so again, I feel like your person, for many of you, your person is regretting something here that has happened and they're not letting you go. Okay, they're not letting you go. So what's interesting here is that this hanged man may also also represent um, you looking for answers to some of these mysteries, right? So there's definitely looking for answers here, looking for a resolution so that you guys can somehow work this out because beneath it all, we have that two of cups. There's still a desire that you both have to be with one another and, and to have that four of wands that you both wanted. So what are we looking at next here in terms of outcome? Wow, interesting. Yeah, okay, so see, this is what I'm saying. Right now, your person, they are definitely feeling a very significant loss. Look at this. I mean, they are definitely feeling that they have lost you. And they don't want to lose you. And we saw this here before. I feel like, the you know, if there's been a temporary separation here, they are really losing themselves. Okay, they're losing themselves in loving you, wanting to be with you, wanting to reconcile with you, wanting to hold your hand again. They are going to chase you for sure. Look at this. Okay, they're coming through chaser energy as in they're going to come back strong. Right now, it's like they are, if again, if you're in, in some form of separation, they are with you vibrationally, right? Their vibration, their energy is absolutely with you. It is longing for you. It is wanting, their energy is wanting to reconcile with your energy. It's wanting to commingle, come back together with your energy. So you may expect them to be reaching out to you quite, quite soon. Um, they want to fix this. Whatever has happened here, they need to fix it and they want to. So let me know what you thought of this reading in the comment box below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I've created to, you know, help you gain more clarity on this journey. All of the links are in the box below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I'll see you all on the next video.